Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. AMA Expo East set for next week. Skydio shows off R1 self-flying camera. And TSB Canada releases report on King Air collision with a drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The Academy of Model Aeronautics will host the annual AMA Expo East at the Meadowlands Exposition Center in Secaucus, New Jersey, February 23rd through 25th. The three-day expo will provide new and seasoned hobbyists of all ages with hands-on opportunities to learn about building and flying model aircraft and drones. This includes flying demonstrations, FPV drone racing with the AMA flight simulator, and more. AMA Expo East will also include Homeschool Day on Friday, February 23rd. During this day, homeschool students will have a chance to experience RC flight simulators, try model and drone flying, watch RC boat demos, and more. AMA Expo East will also include nearly 100 exhibitors, aviation and aerospace experts, as well as a featured speaker series. The full schedule is available at amaexpo.com. Free admittance to this event is offered for kids 12 and under, uniformed girl and boy scout, active military personnel with valid ID, Navy Sea Cadets, and Civil Air Patrol. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. DJI has introduced a knowledge quiz for pilots operating DJI drones in the Australian airspace. The DJI knowledge quiz will require pilots to answer a series of basic questions correctly about safe drone use before their next flight. The quiz is based on the Civil Aviation Safety Authority's regulations and is the company's latest effort to help drone users learn and demonstrate understanding of some basic safety rules. As a partner organization to the GoFly Prize, AMA invites you to join them as mentors and judges in the GoFly Prize. The GoFly Prize is a $2 million international competition to create safe, quiet, and ultra-compact personal flying devices with near VTOL capabilities. AMA members can become involved in GoFly as a mentor or as a judge. Potential mentors should check out this website. Judge applicants are asked to contact info at goflyprize.com. The FAA should have rules to identify drones and their pilots this year, according to FAA Acting Deputy Administrator Carl Burleson. At the Singapore Air Show, Burleson said that drone security is one of the agency's top priorities for this year. Burleson said that safety is a primary concern, but not the only one. Here we have a whole set of concerns and interests by the law enforcement community and the national security community, he said. The FAA has required a license to fly a drone commercially since 2016. But according to government documents, only one person has been caught and punished for flying his aircraft without a license. According to the documents obtained by MarketWatch through an FOIA request, that person was Jeffrey Slintz. He was capturing video of Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri for a rap music video. With this known, the FAA seems reluctant to impose penalties for reasons known only to the agency. That was our drone minute. Now back to the rest of the news. There's a new flying camera on the market, which is maker claims is a step toward the future of autonomous drones and enabling a new type of visual storytelling. Skydio, a California-based company, has announced the availability of the company's first product, R1, a fully autonomous flying camera. R1 was reportedly built from the ground up for autonomous flight and is powered by the Skydio autonomy engine, enabling it to see and understand the world around it so that it can fly safely at high speeds while avoiding obstacles, even in dense and challenging environments. 
It can see people and anticipate how they will move, letting R1 make intelligent decisions about how to get the smoothest, most cinematic footage in real time. Built for early adopters including athletes, adventurers, and creatives, R1 allows users to be the center of their stories. The only tool required to capture 4K video with the R1 is Skydio's mobile app. Take off, set it to follow you, and record. Reportedly, if you can operate the camera app on your phone, you can control R1. Initial availability of R1 will be in the limited Frontier Edition. Currently available for a pretty hefty $2,499 in the U.S. and Canada. The Transportation Board Canada has released its final report on a collision between a Beechcraft King Air A100 and an alleged UAV on October 12, 2017. The King Air was operating an IFR flight to Quebec John Lesage International Airport with two pilots and six passengers on board. On final approach, the flight crew reportedly observed a drone, about the size of a dinner plate, in front of the left wing. The pilot had no time to take evasive action. The impact was unavoidable and the drone disintegrated. The collision took place at an altitude of 2,500 feet ASL on approach to runway 24. The crew declared an emergency then completed the landing without further incident or injury. The damage was limited to a dent at the point of impact on the left wing de-icing boot, as well as scratches on the upper surface of the left wing. The damage was minor and the aircraft returned to service the same day. The investigation was unable to identify the operator of the drone involved in the collision. And to be honest, there's little evidence beyond the pilot's sighting to assert that a drone was actually involved. No debris from the drone could be found. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. See you next week.